Hello, I'm Enno. I work in the ACA team at Lightband. And this short video is about Alpaca 2.0, which we just released. Alpaca is a reactive streams integration library built on top of ACA streams. So to start with, we'll look at what ACA streams are and how they can help you in your applications. And then we'll look at all the connectors that Alpaca offers between other technologies and ACA streams. To start with, let's look at the power of ACA streams. ACA streams are a part of the ACA toolkit and allow stream processing. Stream processing allows us to model data manipulation as a flow of data. It comes in at a source, gets processed in several steps. The processing ends in a so-called sync. ACA streams contains a rich set of operators to describe the stream processing flows. ACA streams implements the reactive stream standard. And the key points I want to point out here is the asynchronous approach. So if we look back at the stream process we saw earlier, the asynchronous nature of ACA streams allows us to add asynchronous boundaries to these operations so that the flow and the sync can operate asynchronously of each other. And we can add those boundaries in every step of our flow. Or we can add these asynchronous boundaries. It is, in most cases, more efficient to not have them. If we don't explicitly add boundaries, the flow is merged together and runs in one thread without the cost of synchronization across threads. Reactive streams has another very important concept the concept of non-blocking back pressure. When we have these asynchronous boundaries, there is non-blocking back pressure. This means the sync, in this case, controls how much data it needs and requests data from upstream, which then is requested further upstream. Let's recap what these two properties provide. Aka streams can run asynchronously in different steps. This enables resource virtualization so that we can make use of our hardware. The back pressure, on the other hand, enables us to respect the resource bounds in our hardware so that we don't exhaust threads, memory, network, and database connections. Alpaca connects Aka streams, as we saw before, to other technologies and tries to apply the same properties to those technologies. Alpaca is a reactive enterprise integration library for Java and Scala based on reactive streams. So we could should say it gives us endpoints for Alpaca streams. Alpaca contains connectors to different cloud service technologies. Alpaca contains integrations with DynamoDB, Kinesis, AWS Lambda, S3, which is very popular, SNS and SQS. Google Cloud technologies are supported with for PubSub, Google Firebase, FCM, and Google Cloud Storage, which was recently added. For Microsoft Azure, there's an integration with Storage Queue. As we have loads of different ways to store data in our industry, this is reflected in Alpaca as well. This Alpaca 2 release contains a totally rewritten integration with Apache Cassandra, which is the base for Aka Persistence Cassandra as well nowadays. And Alpaca integrates with different messaging technologies as well. The new kit on the block here is the integration with Provega. A different area in Alpaca is data transformation. We go from one format and map it to another one. With this, I want to close this short overview of Alpaca 2.0 and list a few of the major functionality improvements Alpaca contains. Remember, the most important bit why we call it 2.0 is the upgrade of most of the libraries so that you don't get in a transitive library, which is of a different version than your code is using. Alpaca contains changes by more than 50 contributors. Thank you very much.